hi and welcome back to Grammar Time. Today, you might already have gathered from the intro, we are going to talk about the past perfect. As usual, we'll first work out how it's done and what you use it for, and then we're going to be doing some practice. Uh, before we actually start, however, let me show you a little video that you might remember if you've been following this channel. So, let's go. The other day at school. Hey Luna, how are you? Hey Jose, fine, and you? Great. Our English teacher has just told us we're going to England in spring. Wow, have you ever been there? No, I haven't been to England, but I've been to Ireland. We went there last year. That's so cool. Me, I've never traveled abroad. No school trips, I mean. Well, then I've got good news for you. I've asked the teacher, and he said that non-bilingual students can also come. Really? I'd so love to go. Well, talk to your parents. I've called mine already, and they say I can go. I will. We'll go to England together. Okay, this of course is a video about the present perfect and we're talking about the past perfect. So why am I showing you this? Let's take another look at what Jose is actually saying. He says, I've never been to England. And what he means, what he refers to is, he's never been to England up to now, or which is the same, before now. Now, what should he say if he wanted to say something like before 2019 or until then, until some point in the past, uh, 2019 or whenever? Well, what he would have to say is, I had never been to England. So the have of the uh, present perfect transforms into had. And this is the past perfect. Take a look at these examples. I had never heard of La Girona before I read your story. Both things in the past, and one happens or doesn't happen in this case, before the other. Or this one. Sue hadn't used sunscreen, so she got badly burnt. Or finally, had you studied hard enough before you took that exam? Apparently she hadn't. You should always study before the exam, not after. Okay, so this is what we're talking about, the past perfect. Let's sum up a bit. Uh, what do we use the past perfect for? Well, it's basically a pre-past. We use it to talk about events that happened before other past events. That is to say, we use it to say what happened before the event we're mainly talking about. Like establishing context when you are telling a story. And how do we make the past perfect? Well, it's past and perfect, so we use had and the past participle. That is to say have in the past and the participle, just like we do with present perfect, but using the past form of have. And that's basically all you need to know. Let's practice this a bit. Here we go. We have a first example, a first exercise. I just started writing my paper when you called. Give us an affirmative statement. I had just started writing my paper when you called. Well done. And another one. I never see an alien. Affirmative? I had never seen an alien, yet there he was, in my garden. Or this one. Charming, isn't she? Well, this is a question. You notice anything strange about her? Give us the question. Had you noticed anything strange about her? That's the way. What about this one? She ever try yoga before she traveled to India? That's another question. Had she ever tried yoga before she traveled to India? Well done. 
And here we've got the last one. I not anticipate that he knew I cheated on my test. Oops. A negative statement? I hadn't anticipated. I had not anticipated that he knew I cheated on my test. And well, that's basically it for today. Um, let me just briefly summarize everything once more. The past perfect is basically this pre-pass that you use to talk about things that happened before the main thing that you talked about, that you're going to talk about, that you want to talk about. Just like the present perfect, you use it with have and the participle, only that in this case, because it's the past perfect, you use the past form of have. And just like the present perfect, you can, uh, you will often, in fact, uh, combine it with all those uh, adverbs of time, like just, ever, never, and so on. And that's basically all I've got for you today. So, uh, what you have to do now is you need to practice a bit, and apart from that, well, don't forget to stay awesome, like and subscribe, and see you around. Bye!